So this is version one designed by this man? Yeah, and this man? Join, 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 join. There you go. And Thomas yeah. is our test pilot at the moment. Yeah. I've, I've never flown a tricopter, so. Yeah. A bit. You'll be right, Thomas. You'll be right. If I can, just try not to hit us, that's the main thing. Okay? I'm a total coop and I can fly it. There you go. Wait, Tom. How do you arm it? Oh, uh, that way, that way. Okay. It does work on both sides. Oh, wow. Oh, What's the throttle like? Uh, there's a lot of power. Yeah. So what are your thoughts? Um, it is actually really nice. Considering too, like, have a point to one of the trees so you get an idea of how windy it is. Just wait a sec. And the fact that I've never played a tricopter. Goddamn revolution, Thomas. <laughs> Man, I think it's a mini chain, so 180 grams, all up weight, including battery. 180 is it? Yeah. Wow. That's version one, I reckon we'll get 100. And then the vertical will be insane. So worth trying yeah. FPV? Yeah, go for it. Go. Okay, so we're going to do an FPV Maiden with this little tricopter. We have Thomas as our test pilot. Yeah. And we have wow, a 30 knot really breeze. And we have JB. Really good out of yeah. And Derek. It's not bad. It's These are the guys that designed it. Yeah. And Thomas is going to see how she goes. Right. Watch out people. Some, uh, We've got some people. Just on the right. Clear. This is very untuned. Um, just waggle the tail, Thomas, and just stop. Now it's arm. You're up in the air. How is it? Let's uh, get you out of this. Lots of yaw. Yes. It's actually <laughs> really nice. How is she to fly? It's really weird. Like, the controls are like. I mean, this is just considering I haven't flown a tricopter. It's like. It's just. The no, way it's... it maneuvers. It's like it's. It's easy to learn, but it's kind of different. It has a weird tail waggling thing. I think it's a auto overcorrecting the actual um, controller board. So you're coming but towards us? Yeah, it's a total Gumby setup. On the, um... <laughs> I like the flick of the tail there, Thomas. Yeah, it's, it'll take a bit of getting used to the So tail. come closer to us so I can get a shot of it. Oh, Thomas, you're killing it. This is amazing. So windy, and this is just sitting there. Hey, do you want to do some high speed and do then high do high like a course. radical turn? Uh, first, let me get used to how to control, like uh, controlling, so I know like what its tendencies don't are. Let, don't listen to the peanut gallery. Yeah, don't listen to me. <laughs> do your own thing. We just want you to crash it. No, I don't want to crash it. <laughs> that yaw, maybe make it a bit less sensitive on the yaw. Hey, Thomas, you look like you're trembling a bit. Is that the tail again? That's the last one. Now it's worth noting that it's really windy and this thing, you're not going to see much of it, but it's flying well. I can't believe stuff. how stable it is. How's that for a bit of camo for You can't even, now I know how it can fly, it might give you a bit more confidence that it's me and not the try. <laughs> it's okay, I can really relate to that. <laughs> I keep blaming everything, but I think it's just me. I don't know. I've the other problem is too that it's really windy, so when you start to slide out, it really slides out. Yeah. But that is actually really nice. I mean, you don't need much power to keep it up. At least it doesn't feel like it. You're running just under half throttle. Well, we actually yeah. we're running on a third throttle, and I really brought the curve Whoa. down quite a lot. Yeah. Because otherwise, we just don't control the yeah. it <laughs> So that's Thomas at the controls. It's got to fly heaps. That's oh. a lot of aileron. You can see the throttle. This is the throttle and aileron. And we've got oh, rudder him? and elevator. Whoa, you can see the shadow there. It looks pretty cool. Drop the laptop. It's actually fairly smooth. Like, but having said that, gosh, it's flying well. I mean, can, uh, this thing doesn't weigh anything at all. Yeah, this is, this is and you know, it's a it's a gale force breeze. These aren't the ideal conditions to be, you know, shooting a, a multi rudder. Not a hundred and eighty gram. No. <laughs> oh, very, very, very pleased. Oh, oh a bit of curry. Nice, nice Thomas. Woo. All right, go, Thomas. Is that the actual... I think that's marked with a low battery. Yeah, I'm going to bring it. Really kill gently? It, kill it, kill it. Oh, nice. Hey. Thomas, that is awesome. So this is it. This is it. Very nice work there, Derek and JB. Thank very you. nice work. Thank you very much. Version 1. Version 1 skid off to with that. Skid mark 1. I love that, love that blue you view, John. Yeah, it's still, the, it's still the original roll that came with my 3D printer. Ah, oh, okay, so, okay. Yeah. That looking really good, Thomas, really good. You really did some great Yeah, all the yeah. adjustments are mainly just to the controller board, not the actual... So, your, your final thoughts on the little Mini? 
Love it. <laughs> is it a mini or is it a micro? Micro. Right? So I think it's more of a micro. Pocket size. Pocket racer. Pocket racer. <laughs> yeah. Sounds pretty cool, doesn't it? Oh, well, good. Very nice. One of these. More info coming on this soon or eventually once more R&D, isn't it? I think we need to go to version three, I think we'll be lock solid. Yeah. JB's working on a version two of the little okay. motor mounts. Yep. Mm -hmm. We need a, I think we need a little tail skid for when yep. you're flying in a car park to take off. Yeah. Looking good. 